Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. This is our fourth video and our names are DJ Boom and TV Crash. And together we are TV Boom. Boom. This is our YouTube channel and this week we will talk about Ghostbusters. So what? how did you like the film or did you like the film? Well, I liked the film. It was nice. It was really cool. Yeah. It's one of my favorite films yeah mine too yeah um well it came out in 1984 was well, it the same day where the gremlins yeah came? it was at the same day where the gremlins came out pretty funny the film was magnificent yeah yeah so it was about uh, three scientists that were kicked out of uh, the university and then they start their own business and they catch ghosts yeah yeah um now i have one last uh one question for you mm -hmm. do you believe in ghosts mm, hard question tv crash i do believe in ghosts sometimes i can see them sometimes i don't yeah, yeah. i think it's just like one of my mind things that i see Imagining. yeah well um in a way i think when stuff get lost with me i think a ghost just took it yeah and because the the next day it's there and i looked there already yeah so that's, that's why that, that's why i think i believe in ghosts yeah that's why i think they are there and the director was ivan reitman he also directed ghostbusters too and all the actors that were well all the ghostbusters yeah they were obviously also in ghostbusters too the writers were dan they, Aykroyd. he also played uh ray stance and harold ramus uh he also played egan spengler egan egon <laughs> i'm sorry okay um what did you like about the film um i like the ghosts yeah my favorite ghost was uh slimer because he was eating the whole time who was your favorite ghost Mr. Staple, <laughs> aka Marshmallow Man. Ooh. Well, uh, did you find any ghosts scary? Maybe the one in the library. <laughs> the one. <laughs> that was funny. I really liked the car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Ecto One. Ah, oh, imagine you would be driving in that car. Oh, that would be so cool. Imagine me uh, getting picked up from Dad in school with that giant car. Oh, everyone would be jealous. And I, I was just imagining me having a house later, and in my garage there would be like the Ecto One, yeah. And then all the time driving to work with the Ecto One, and then I'm gonna and buy then, that. And then you have to get like a uh, a giant music box with the Ghostbusters song, yeah. I got an idea. I'm gonna buy a car, and I'm gonna modelize it like the Ecto One. That would take you ages. Maybe it would, but I'll get some help from the Ghostbusters. Okay. I would love to be a Ghostbuster. Oh my god. The um, Ghostbuster station was pretty cool. Oh yeah. At the beginning, you thought, what a trash pit. Yeah. How could you ever think of having like a headquarters there? <laughs> I thought they made the he uh, headquarters look really nice then. Yeah. Yeah. What was your favorite side character actor? Um, I thought it was the secretary whose uh, name I always forget. Janine. Exactly. I forget her name all the time, mm. and then I know it, and then I'm, I'm like, I'll remember that name, and then, oh, what was her name again? Yeah, so let's get to the four main Ghostbuster characters. Well, uh, they were Peter Bankman, the actor was Bill Murray. He was in Groundhog Day. There's Ernie Hudson as Winston Zedmore. <laughs> he was pretty cool, right? Yeah, 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 the fourth ghost buff. Then there was... Dan Aykroyd, he also played Ray Stance, and we said that. And, and Harold Ramis as Egon Spengler. Yeah, and he wrote Groundhog Day. Oh, and uh, then there was Sigourney Weaver, right? Yeah, he, uh, she was uh, Dana Barrett. Yeah. And then there was Rick Moranis uh, as Lewis Tully. Yeah, and he he was uh, in Honey I Shrunk the Kids. Yeah, right. And wasn't he the keymaster? Ah, yes, he was the keymaster, the keymaster who locked himself 
out three times. So TV crash. Did you know that Ivan Reitman did the voice for Zool and Slimer? <laughs> That's cool. He he only had to do he only had to say Zool. Yeah. So um, the music it was it was by Elmo Bernstein. Yeah, but the song Ghostbusters was by Ray Parker Jr. and he only did it in two days. Crazy two <laughs> days. Creating this awesome song, yeah. Did you know it was nominated for two Oscars and became none, even though it was so awesome that yeah, so it was nominated for best visual effects and best original song. Oh, and it didn't get it. So disappointing. And um, the budget was uh, thirty million dollars because there were so many visual effects. Like remember the ghost stream thingies? Yeah, <laughs> that you see that was the that was a really cool visual effect, didn't you think? And when they cross the streams, also crazy. Yeah, uh, you're not supposed to cross the streams. Could be bad. It could kill you. No, he only said it could be bad. He said it could evaporate you. I can't remember that. You see, there were so many creatures, like so many ghosts, yeah, like Zool, yeah. Did you think he was scary? Not really, but the dogs were pretty cool. But... Zool was the dog. Yeah, okay. Well, but it made around $300 million worldwide. That's crazy, but... It, I can imagine that. It's obvious that I would get so much money. Because cause, cause, um, if you'd see like the title here, yeah? Ghostbusters. Wow, cool. Sounds really cool. Oh, I think I'd go to the cinema for that. Did you just say Ghostbusters? And I remember something that the original title for, for the, the film should have been Ghost Smashers. <laughs> okay, Ghost that doesn't Smashers. sound that bad. Well, I think Ghostbusters is a better title, obviously. Yeah, um, what really funny was that the director, Ivan Reitman, hmm? he released a small trailer. It was the advertisement uh, that uh, there was always in the TVs in the film, yeah? And it's like um, the number you should call the Ghostbusters. But the funny thing is, it was a real number this time. So yeah. they got a thousand calls per hour every day for six weeks. So TV crash. You know, there were pretty funny lines, but which one was your favorite? Back off, man. I'm a scientist. Wait, I'm not going to back off. Oh. You're not a scientist. But that's my favorite line. Oh, of course. Okay. <laughs> Um, um, I didn't really have a favorite line. Why? I liked all of them. Ah, uh, yeah. We should rate it. Like we do in every video, we give it the Ghostbuster logos. I think the highest we could give it is five. I wish we could give it more, but then, yeah, our rating system would be ruined. Yeah. Then it would explode. <laughs> like crossing the streams. I, I would give it five. It yeah, but uh, so great. Did you learn anything today? Oh yeah, Austin makes me feel good. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give us a thumbs up. If you want to give us some suggestions on films we can review, feel free to comment below. We plan to review a film every week, so subscribe to our channel. Special thanks to Mom, Mom for, for helping, helping us edit. edit. Bye! Bye.